Welcome to On The Record with Big Nick. By the time this airs, Thanksgiving will be passed. Just want to say happy Thanksgiving to all those out there. Be very thankful for what you have. I know we're going through a very tough year this year, a little bit tougher than usual. And some people have either lost their jobs or gotten laid off or people have been diagnosed with COVID. A lot of adversity going on this year, but there is an end coming hopefully sooner than later. But, you know, Thanksgiving is one of those days to remind us all, no matter how big or small you are, how rich or poor you are, what you're thankful for in life. Make sure that you take tomorrow as a day. It's a big reminder, that's the way I would say it. It's a big reminder of the reasons why you should be extremely thankful for what you do have, not the things that you don't have. What are you most thankful for? Me, me personally? It's a great question. I'm thankful for finding someone really special in my life that I've been with her for a few years now. And she has been everything I could ever expect. You know, she listens to me when I'm stressed out. She listens to me when I am in a bad mood. She's always trying to figure out you know, how to solve the problems with me. She's taught me a lot of patience, which I'm still working on because I still don't have a lot of. She's definitely given me a different perspective on how to approach different things. I mean, a great example is you and I went at it earlier in the week. Mm -hmm. And the old me would have tore your head off and uh -huh. not, not spoke to you again. Like, uh -huh. I just wouldn't have never spoke to you again. Mm -hmm. But to me, she's also taught me that, like, it's not... It's not just bury it. Like there's there's too many things that go on on a day to day basis, and we're all human beings, and things can happen for a reason. And you know, she tried to say, you know, he, you could have had something going on with yourself, and blah blah blah. And it ain't the first time I went out with my brothers. It won't be the last time you and I go at it. I'm assuming. So I mean, it all. But the thing is, at the end of the day, there's way more good days than there are bad. She's taught me like she's definitely helped me become a better person. She's very mature. And she's very wise in what she says. The time will come when the people who are closest to us will really understand like how special this really is. So I don't want to get too deep into it, but <laughs> oh, all in all, I'm very grateful for her. Um, I love her a lot, and I know you're going to listen to this. I love you very much. <laughs> the other thing is um, my family. You know, I've been through some ups and downs with them, um, but, you know, I'm very thankful for them. Just able to live every day and just, you know, have a chance of an opportunity. It's all we're ever given in life is an opportunity. Nothing's handed to you, nothing's, you know, you have to have an opportunity and that's it. And what you do with it is what you do with it. If you become lazy or you work at it or whatever it is, that's your decision. But every time you wake up, you have an opportunity to do something important in the world. Or something impactful or something. You know? You might not get recognized on TMZ or all these bullshit fucking networks. But, you know, it doesn't have to. Most of the things that are great are the things that are not caught. You think I should go around and ask everybody what they're thankful for? Well, give me a fucking space. Well, I didn't fucking know. He's got that fucking camera over there. You're thankful for your family. I guess in recent years, like, it's been more... I've like realized how grateful I am for my like personal family just because the last year I went home for Thanksgiving but there's been two times since then that I haven't had Thanksgiving with my family so not having Thanksgiving with my family like almost makes me like more grateful for them because you just realize like how it used to be when you were a kid you know what I mean so you're like like even like I know when tomorrow comes like and I call my mom like I'll get off the phone and be like Damn, like I wish I was like sitting at the table with her, you know what I mean? Yeah. It also makes me thankful for all the people that I get to call family now just because of like where my life has taken me, like coming into Lumberland, like I have all you guys as family now. Apart from Lumberland, which obviously I'm thankful for, I think that falls into the fact that I'm thankful to have a job <laughs> during this time. Yeah, Seriously. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thankful to have a job during this time. 2020 has been super crazy. All my family's healthy, so I'm happy for that. I was able to get my house this year. I'm just gonna go on the record when Will comes in here. It's gonna be something about the engagement. First thing. Gotta be. I'd be disappointed if it wasn't the first thing. It's gotta be the first thing. Excited and thankful to be starting my own da, da, family, da, da, da. which is exciting, you know. Lee's awesome, thankful for her. Carter's great too, so excited for what to come. Definitely thankful that I get to come to a place like this every day. Thankful for my family, for 
raising me the way they did, providing for me, just being great role models, my parents, um, always being there whenever I needed it. The most obvious answers are family and uh, health of family and uh, myself, obviously. Um, you know, it's just, people take it for granted. I'm grateful enough to have three out of my four grandparents still. I'm definitely thankful to be back here. Um, we missed you. Yeah, you know, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. We definitely missed you, man. I know it's it's an easy, almost like, might seem like a cop out to be thankful for family, but yeah, it's true. You can't take, you can't take nothing for granted. Yeah, you can't yeah. take nothing for granted. First and foremost, health uh, and wellness and myself, I'm super thankful for. I have the abilities, I have the opportunities to pursue something, pursue anything that I want. Very, very thankful for the environment that I've been around in the sense of the people that I'm associated with, being in a positive environment where I'm supported uh, no matter what my goal or no matter what my dream is. <laughs> you guys know Big Nick, but you don't know Big Nick. He's, um, he's one of a kind. He's always there for me. He's always texting in on me. He's always uh, asking if I need anything. So I always got his back. He yeah. knows that. Big, Big Nick's the real role model. You guys shouldn't be, not the athletes. Go for Big Nick. That's the role model. I'd like to say that I'm thankful for Big Nick. Hey, oh, strange. He's also thankful I didn't kill him the other day. I am thankful for the opportunities I've gained just in this, just in this, since the pandemic, actually. Um, I started my own landscaping business. I made some great connections with friends. And I'm thankful for actually my Lumberland family because although like the pandemic caused a lot of us to like have to leave, we've all come back. Like most of us have come back and like, it's like nothing's ever changed. And it's really awesome. I'm thankful for having a great group of friends and family around me at all times. I think the first thing I'm thankful for is my, my, my strong family unit, like my, my, from my immediate family who is willing to do anything whatever I need for me, and you know, I'm willing to do whatever for them as well. This group of friends who I've been friends with, just some of my friends have been friends with since I was five years old, or even younger, so I've been two or three years old, but I'm still friends with today. Uh, just being able to have that group of friends you know, help me out through all my sick and fit and all that. This is something I'm incredibly thankful for. I would definitely say, of course, family. Uh, family and close friends. They definitely mean a lot and they kind of stick by you no matter what. Just having the ability to do things that you might not think you're able to do. Um, that's definitely a big one that I've learned, this, especially this year. Um, just whether it's with like fitness abilities or um, just your own personal motivation. Um, I feel like that's something that some people might struggle with, and I'm super grateful I have that. I'm most thankful just to be with my family, right? Having having health in the family, and you know, friends and loved ones of people that I that I know. Um, everyone being healthy and with family is is actually something that's that's pretty remarkable. I had a pretty monumental year. On top of everything, I got married, and I got to welcome my first child into the world so uh, those are the really easy ones having my son around is unbelievable i always wanted to be a dad now having him here is is amazing taking a step back and thinking of just how lucky i am that he's one that he's here and two that he's healthy and yeah what are you thankful for aj he's thankful he's got me that's what he's thankful for i think i'm the most thankful for everything that's contributed to my life and where I am now. Just all those experiences, all the people. One of the things that even though I feel like I'm still really young at 30, I've, I feel like a lot of people have come and gone in my life. I feel like I've done a lot of things. Sports experiences, business experiences, working relationship, person, personal relationships. Everything kind of comes and goes, but I think it it all adds up to who you are. So I'm just super grateful for all of the experiences. I think most people usually say something's positive or negative, and I honestly think that both ends of the spectrum contribute to who you are. And um, so I'm just thankful for everything that I've experienced. Traditions growing up, you wanna just fucking tell the people? On Thanksgiving? Oh yeah. We just sat down and ate. Hey, we can <laughs> oh, real motherfucking simple, all right? That was a pretty deep uh, on the record with Big Nick. And uh, to be honest with you, this is probably one of my more prouder um, episodes that I've done. Very passionate about it. Um, 
and we weren't intending on going this route, but something kind of clicked in Big Nick's brain, and you know, it felt right, and boy, oh boy, it did. Uh, I thought it went pretty good. So we hope you enjoy it. Um, and if there's things that you guys are thankful for, reach out to us and you tell us what you're thankful for. Put it in the comments, subscribe. Um, and I just want to wish all you, all you guys that follow us on either TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all of our social media platforms, um, and even those that don't, I want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the time. You know, just embrace the moment because it's one of many that you will experience in your life. And for those that don't think that they have a lot of great moments in your life, I hope tomorrow is one of those days that you know can put a smile on your face. The future is gonna be brighter. And just take it one day at a time. That's all Big Nick does, is take things one day at a time. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. God bless you all. And I'll catch you on the next episode.